Hey, thanks for taking the time to join us on Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey, and with a chill in the air, that means the holidays are upon us, and you know what that means. One of the coolest Christmas displays, parades, just gatherings uh, happens in Haines City, and, and joining us in studio is Gerald Richardson, Deputy Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Haines City. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Enjoy, uh, always enjoy being here. Yeah, well, so uh, you got kind of like the crown jewel down there. You, you, you've got the coolest parade route. Um, and then, of course, my favorite, favorite park in, in the whole darn county is <laughs> 555 Ledwith Avenue. Yeah, 555 <laughs> Ledwith Avenue. Yeah, Lake Eva Park. Uh, you know, obviously we're here to talk about Glitter, Ghost, and Snow and, and um, the parade, but the park, man, we have so many events there and it's the setup, the build and everything with the, the stage and everything. Yeah. It's just it's just great for And that for community the center? Yeah, the community center right wow. there with it. Uh, and then our event center just on the uh, the other side there yep. of uh, our aquatic center. Yep. Um, it's just, it's tough to beat um, when it comes to stacking up in Polk County. So so, so when you got offered a job, you're like, really? <laughs> did, did you do the Scooby-Doo voice? <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe to myself, yeah. not out loud. <laughs> so let's talk glitter, glitter glisten, and snow. Uh, yep. What can folks expect? Yep, so the event's December uh, 2nd, Saturday, December 2nd. Kicks off with our parade. Uh, parade starts at 6 o'clock and uh, is followed uh, by Glitter, Glisten, and Snow, which is right there in Lake Eva Park. The parade actually ends in Lake Eva Park. Um, and then Glitter, Glisten, and Snow starts around 7.30 or so. Uh, a lot of great things from vendors. Um, we'll have a uh, snow slide this year, a big, uh, huge mountain of snow with slide. Um, another stack of snow just to kind of play in. Um, performers on our stage, uh, food vendors, marketplace vendors, uh, just a, a great evening of fun for families. You know, when 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 Zaya was coming in to do the taping, I always asked her, "How do we get snow in Florida?" <laughs> and you know what she said to me? What's that? You have to come and see. <laughs> <laughs> she did, she didn't uh, delve on the secret. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <it's>, uh, <laughs> Don't uh, pay any attention to what's going on behind the curtains. <laughs> yeah. So so I take it you're not gonna tell me how you guys um, do snow. It's obvious. It's, <laughs> it's obvious. You know how it's done. I know. <laughs> I just it's no to good secret. <laughs> They, they go up north and put it in a truck and then truck it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping cost. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So. so <laughs> man, I, I didn't know. I didn't know the recipe to snow. <laughs> I'm an Ohio kid. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the things going on. Um, so also, chance to meet Santa too. Uh, is yeah, he going to be? Yep. Santa, is he going to be there? Obviously, uh, Santa is obviously a part of the parade. Um, and with the parade ending there, he kind of hangs around in the park, uh, you know, to be able to greet, take pictures, mm -hmm. um, and those sorts of things in the park. Um, like I say, along with uh, performers and bounce houses, and uh, there's just really a lot of things for families. Kind of, kind of an opportunity for you know uh, the parade. Once the parade ends, it's not a matter of hey, let's pack up and go home. It's kind of a an after party for the parade mm -hmm. uh, for families to come in. And, and like I say, with the a lot of the performers or middle school, high school, um, whether it's bands, whether it's um, dance teams and those types of things. It brings those families into the park um, for, like I say, just a good evening of, of good, clean fun. You guys got a great city manager there and, of course, uh, great city commission. Mm -hmm. Talk about what it's I mean, for the events that you host, Iron Man, yeah. Ribs on the Ridge, the, the Christmas stuff, and they just kind of let you guys go, eh. Man, make it make it happen. Talk to me what it is, what, what what it's like to work for a group like that that says, "Listen, man, you go out and create this, and 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 give the folks what they want." Yeah, yeah. As you mentioned, great city manager, uh, city manager Alinsky, and then even our deputies from there, um, great to work for. Uh, give us, they empower us to do our events and to do our things without, you know. Uh, really coming in and meddling and telling us how we need to do them and so forth. And same with city commission, as you mentioned, uh, got a great city commission now. Um, got uh, a new person just came on and new vice mayor uh, that moved in. But you know, allowing us to do what we do um, and run our events, like you say, there's so many different ones with ribs and you know Iron Man and glitter. It's kind of our big, you know, big three. Um, and, Let's and not forget Fourth of July, Thunder, Thunder. <laughs> thunder. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh, there's another. Thunder's one. <laughs> really, really probably the biggest one yeah. in regards to yeah. attendance. So, 
Uh, but you know, allow us to do those and, and the things that we need when it comes to you know purchasing. Obviously, the the fireworks show mm -hmm. for Thunder. Um, it's not uh, it's not you know go down and. and Get go to the ten on County Line Road, and uh, here's fifty dollars. Get some fireworks. You know they empower us to do what we need to do to make it the best, yep. and uh, to make it the best, uh, not just in Haines City, but in the county. And obviously, you've got great community partners that help you along the way. Correct. Miracle Toyota, uh, you know, is really there uh, for really all of our events. They're they're fabulous in regards to to our community sponsor uh, for for all of our events, and Mary and her team there. Uh, really step up to the plate, and, you know, no matter how big, as small as our veterans and Memorial Day events that we have downtown, all the way up to, you know, thunder, all the glitter, glisten, and snow, uh, they're there for, for anything we need. I want to talk opportunities for vendors and opportunities, um, you know, I, we're in the time of year that high school seniors and, and folks that want to help out as far as yeah. uh, volunteer opportunities. Let's talk a little bit about vendors and volunteer opportunities. Yep. So for the parade, uh, parade entries, $10 uh, for anyone who wants to come bring a float. Uh, and then when it comes to vendors for glitter, glisten, and snow, it is uh, $50 for marketplace vendors and then $100 for food vendors uh, for that event. And when it does come to volunteers, it's a good point because um, these events, obviously, it takes an army, um, especially when it comes to Iron Man. I mean, we have nearly a thousand volunteers when it comes to Iron Man just for that one uh, event. Uh, but getting with us, really, for any of our events, we're, we're always needing volunteers, whether it's a small, small event or, or, or big special events, no matter what it is, but uh, they can reach out to us at HaynesCity.com and, uh, you know, they're, we'll, we'll take them if they want to help, like I say, for one event or if they want to be there for two or three or they want to be there for all of them. We're mm -hmm. glad to have them for uh, whatever they're able to do. Got about a minute left. Inspire those to get involved. Get off the couch. Make sure they're a part of that event. Yeah, Glitter, Glisten, and Snow, like I say, uh, one of the really only uh, opportunities in the county to come bring the kids out to a snow mountain with a snow slide. Uh, but, but the opportunity, like I say, to have a parade and then a festivities afterwards in the park to see, like I say, performers, food, uh, marketplace, bounce houses, um, all types of opportunities for families to come out and just enjoy a good evening uh, right here in the county and uh, the great uh, city of Haines City. Well, always a pleasure to see you and you come back and see me at the end of November. We'll yeah. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk something that's going on. Yeah. All right. Maybe some of that good barbecue. Ah, good call. Good call. Well, come back and see me, will you please? Will do. All right. Haines City Parks and Recreation invites you to Haines City's Christmas Parade and Glitter, Glisten, and Snow. This holiday theme is a family friendly and floats will light the way all the way to Lake Eva Park with businesses and local organizations. Now, following the parade, they invite you to the countdown with them as they light up Lake Eva Park with thousands of lights, including their Christmas tree. It all happens Saturday, December 2nd with the parade starting at 6 p.m and Glitter, Glisten, and Snow runs from 7.30 to 10 p.m. At Lake Eva Park, 555 Ledwith Avenue, Glitter, Glisten, and Snow allows families and children of all ages to participate in many activities, including visits with Santa. Now, there's no cost for the event. If you need more information, you can give them a call, 863-421-3700, or look them up on the web at HaynesCity.com. If you enjoyed that episode of Polk Place, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and even check out the next one.